Welcome to Honeybee Yoga Studio, where I share yoga classes aimed at yogis of all levels. I release new classes every week, so if that sounds like your thing, please hit the red subscribe button below. And welcome yogis to the first of four classes in a chair yoga series that I've been really excited to put together. These classes can be done by anyone, anybody, any limitations, but they're definitely aimed for people who have limited mobility, seniors, and anyone else who's looking to start yoga in a very safe and supported way. Today, we're gonna stay seated on our chairs. All we need is a chair, preferably with no arms. I have shorter legs than my tall chair, so for one of our later postures, I have a bolster. You might want to grab a thick blanket or a cushion to help bring your feet a little bit closer to the earth. But let's get started. We're going to come in our chair away from the back, a little bit forward, so that our feet can come flat to the earth. We're going to feel our shoulders stack above our hips, feel that long spine, and those hands can maybe come to your thigh or by your side. Let's take a couple seconds here to really connect our mind to our muscles. So we feel our core engaging to keep our spine long. Our thighs are activated, keeping our knees stacked above our heels. Our shoulders are soft and away from our ears. Our heart feels like it's lifting and the crown of our head reaches up to the sky. We're gonna to try to keep this activation throughout our entire practice. Of course, if you get tired, you're more than welcome to lean into the back of your chair. Let's stay here for a couple breaths and just feel our body as it is. Neutral. 
This time our right hand stays on our right thigh and let's sweep that left hand up to the sky. Both of those shoulders stay away from our ears. And maybe we feel some space through that left side. Let's take one more big breath. Oh, and when we're ready on the exhale, that left hand this time comes to the outside of our right thigh. That right hand maybe comes to our chair, maybe hooks around the back of our chair as we start to twist to the right side. So while this practice is very supported by our chair, we're taking minimal movements, our body is likely getting nice and warm as we keep all of our muscles at attention, nice and active. One last breath, and again we use our exhale to come back through neutral. Let's take a moment to take some shoulder rolls here. So squeezing our shoulders up to our ears and letting them melt away. Maybe in a circular motion instead of just up and down. And then let's go in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna roll those shoulders behind me. One more time. Ah, let's give those arms a little shake. Now like I mentioned earlier, the earth is a little far away for my shorter legs. So I'm gonna grab my bolster or your cushion, your thick blanket or towel. I'm just gonna place that in front of my toes. We're gonna to come into a single leg stretch. So let's lengthen our right leg long in front of us, heel on the floor. Yours might be lifted, yours might be on the floor. Left sole of the foot presses into the earth, left hand on that left knee. And let's slowly start to walk that right hand towards our right toes. We want to keep a long spine as we start to gently fold forwards. Those fingertips reaching towards that foot. Our right toes remain lifted. And we feel that activation through that right shin. Let's take another breath here. Slowly come back up nice and tall. Place that right sole of our foot on the ground. Then let's extend our left leg long. Left heel comes into the earth. That right hand stays on our right knee. We have our tall spine. And then we slowly start to inch from those left fingertips towards those left toes as we gently hinge forward our hips. Now, you might hinge all the way forward, you might be taller, whatever works for you. As long as those left toes continue to pull up towards the sky, those legs are maybe feeling nice and warm. Let's take another inhale. And as we exhale, we'll slowly come back nice and tall, bring that left foot back to the earth and I'm going to move my bolster out of the way. From here we're going to open up a bit through our hips. Now if you have fabric on your seat it might take a little bit of a shimmying and shaking but we're going to open our right knee maybe shimmying our foot on the floor to open our right knee to the right side. Maybe the inside, sorry, the outside of that right hand presses on the inside of that right knee. Help that right leg open to the right side. Again, that leg feels active. And let's start to inchworm that foot back towards the front. And then we'll start to shimmy our left foot to the left side. Again, the outside of that left hand may come to the inside of that left knee, pressing that left knee open. Our heart, our gaze comes forward. Let's take one more breath here, big inhale. Oh, and exhale. Now we're going to keep that left 
knee where it is, and then we're going to start to wiggle that right foot back to the right side. Now, as your knees open and the stretch becomes a bit more intense, that left foot might want to shimmy a bit forwards just to take away that angle. So whatever feels good for you, left knee to the left side, right knee to the right side. Let's take both hands to the insides of those knees. Again, long spine, crown of our head lifts. <sighs> Generous opening. Let's take one more breath here. <sighs> and we'll slowly inch for our feet. You can use your hands for some help. Those feet all the way back to center. Let's use our hands for some support, either underneath that thigh or in front of our knee, whatever feels better, to gently lift our left knee. Let's give rotation through that ankle in the opposite direction. Then we're going to take this left ankle to come atop our right shin, just above the knee. Let's take our left hand and just gently place it atop our left knee. Using that right hand, we'll hold our right heel in place. And let's hang out here for a couple breaths. You can press with your left hand into that knee if that feels good, or you can just let gravity do the work. If 
your inhale feels a little restricted with the fold, see if you can bring your awareness to your back body, to that little space between your shoulder blades. And as your chest expands, send that breath to your back body and encourage your back body to open. Let's take one more breath. And then slow and steady, as slow as you need to, we'll begin to come all the way back up to seated. Maybe halfway, we bring our forearms onto our thighs for a little bit of extra support. Hands onto thighs, lengthen those arms, and come nice and tall. We can leave our feet where they are, comfy and open. And we'll close our little flow together with two big breaths. Let's bring those hands one more time to our side. We'll inhale, fingers sweep wide and tall. And then exhale, fingertips wide and back to the sides. One more time, big inhale. This time if we can, we'll bring those hands together. Maybe our gaze comes up towards our hands. And we'll slowly melt those hands towards our heart. And we'll close our practice with a bow to ourselves and a bow for our practice. Thanks so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed this flow. If you did, please leave me a comment down below. I'm really looking forward to filming the other three chair yoga flows that I've put together. Um, if you aren't already a subscriber, of course, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and take care until we see you next time. Bye.